Good morning, students. Uh, today we will discuss another important topic: root modifications. So, what are root modifications? The root modifications are changes in form or morphology of root, and they allow them to perform various new functions, or they are adapt changes in the environment. Are the permanent changes occurred in the morphology of root to perform various new functions, or they adopt changes in the environment. And root modifications are usually three types. Already I told you, root systems are three types: step root system, fibrous root system, and advantage root system. So all the three types of root systems get modified to perform various new functions according to their environment. So firstly, we will start with step root modifications. So what are step root modifications? In these modifications, only step root. Only tap root store the food material, or tap root helps in other new functions. And secondary root remain same. Here usually they occur over primary root. Tap root modifications are various types. Now we will discuss some important types of tap root modifications. And the first one is storage roots. Storage roots are also called tuberous roots. They are called storage roots because roots of some plants, roots of some plants store the food material and become tuberous. such roots are called storage roots or tuberous roots due to stored food material in them these storage roots attain various shapes the shapes are conical shape fusiform shape and napiform shape a conical shape in this shape the primary root or tap root weak or without hypocotyl store the food material and giving cone like appearance and in this shape the primary root is broad at base and gradually tapered towards apex a conical shape of tap storage roots is usually found in carrot and darkus carota is the scientific name of carrot and second one is fusiform in fusiform tap root or primary root with or without hypocotyl store the food material and giving spindle shape spindle shape means it is broad at middle and tapered towards both base and apex of the root and example is that is the furnace sativa in the scientific name of radish and the other shape is called napiform shape in napiform shape the primary root and hypocotyl store the food material and become tuberous and this become tuberous giving top shape top shape means it is almost globular shape and the secondary roots remain thin and they occur usually in these three cases secondary roots remain thin they occur over the primary root And examples for nappy from beetroot. The scientific name of beetroot is Beta vulgaris, and second example is turnip, and the scientific name of turnip is Brassica sapa. So these are the first tap root modifications. Now we will discuss second type of tap root systems. Tap root modifications are nodular roots. Second one is nodular roots. nodular roots are also modified tap roots and already you know the structure of tap root so this is the primary root the primary root has many lateral roots lateral roots include secondary roots tertiary roots rootlets and all this and these roots have these are the nodular roots nodular roots are usually present in they are present in legumes or pulses legumes or pulses means they are belong the plants which are belongs to fabaceae family angiospermy plants have different families and one of the family is called fabaceae the plants which are belongs to fabaceae family are called legumes and pulses some of the examples of legumes and pulses are example pea <coughs> groundnut soybean these are the some of the examples of pulses and nodular roots usually present in legumes and these roots internally they contain irregular swellings these irregular swellings present over the roots of legumes are called nodules these irregular swellings are called nodules nodules are also called nodules are also called tubercles and these tubercles or nodules internally 
they appeared pink color pink in color due to presence of a pink colored pigment but they externally appeared as externally they appeared as creamish and the internally these nodules these nodules contain large number of nitrogen fixing bacteria and nitrogen fixing bacteria is called this nitrogen fixing bacteria is called rhizobium this rhizobium bacteria is able to convert atmospheric dinitrogen into ammonia and other useful forms and the relationship between bacteria and roots of legumes the relationship between bacteria and roots of legumes is called mutualism <coughs> it is called mutualism or mutualism is also called mutualism is also called symbiosis symbiosis or mutualism means in this uh, interspecific interactions both organisms get beneficial in this relationship the rhizobium get shelter and food from the roots of legumes and the roots of legumes get useful forms of nitrogen from the bacteria so such type of intraspecific interaction is called mutualism or reciprocal symbiosis and simply nodules present on roots nodules present on roots such roots are called nodular roots and nodular roots are usually present in legumes and another modification of tap root system is respiratory roots third one is the last tap root modification is respiratory roots roots which take part in respiration roots which take part in respiration are called respiratory roots it is the diagram They are called pneumatophores. And beside pneumatophores, they also contain lenticels. Respiratory roots, usually respiratory roots are they are aerial, upright, and negatively, negatively geotrophic roots. Negatively geotrophic roots means usually they grow towards the light. They usually the growth of the growth of root the growth of root is positively geotrophic means the growth of root towards the soil but respiratory roots are they are towards light or they are opposite to light and they are called negatively geotrophic they are aerial upright and negatively geotrophic roots usually present in usually present in mangroves so what are mangroves the plants which grow in the plants which grow in saline or damp conditions the yes, soil the plants which grow in saline or damp conditions are called mangroves and when mangroves grow in saline conditions in saline conditions the dissolved oxygen amount is very less that's why these plants didn't get enough oxygen for their respiration in such conditions some of the roots become aerial and negatively geotrophic and these roots contain small pores at its apex and these pores are called pneumatophores pneumatophores they pick the atmospheric oxygen and supply the plant for their respiration hence they are called respiratory roots besides besides pneumatophores they also contain lenticels lenticels also helps in exchange of gases and examples for respiratory roots are some of the examples are abyssinia and somnerasia so these are the some of the examples for respiratory roots and all these belongs to mangroves so these are the some important root modifications of tap root system the root modifications are fibrous root modifications in fibrous root modification the roots store the food material <coughs> and become tuberous and some important modifications are storage roots in storage roots out of uh, many roots only one root store the food material and become tuberous 
and such type of rules are called storage rules. And these storage rules also contain some of the advantageous words. These advantageous words take part in vegetative propagation. Advantageous words are always take part in vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation means formation of new plant legs from vegetative propagules of the plant. And the storage rules are usually found in Ipomia batata. Ipomia batata is the scientific name of sweet potato. And second one is fasciculated roots. In fasciculated roots, bunch of roots, bunch of roots store the food material and become tuberous. Examples dahlia and asparagus. And these roots also contain advantageous buds. Advantageous buds again take part in vegetative propagation. The difference between these two storage roots and fasciculated roots are only one root store the food material. So one tuber present here, bunch of roots are present. And one more is one more fibrous root modification is monoleaf form roots. In monoleaf form roots, root also store the food material and become tuberous. But these tubers occur at regular intervals. In between two, 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 uh, two tubers, the root is constricted and again become tuberous. So monoleaf form roots found in Momodica. Momodica is the scientific name of bitter gourd. And one more example is Bacilla. Bacilla is the scientific name of Indian spinach. These are the various types of fibrous root modifications. Modifications are advantageous root modifications. In advantageous root modifications, roots develop from any part of the plant other than radical. They may be underground or aerial. Such type of roots also modify to perform various new functions. The two important advantageous root modifications are prop roots and steel roots. The first one is prop roots. The prop roots are, these are the advantageous roots develops from horizontal branches of the plant. And on end condition, these prop roots hang in the air and absorb moisture. These roots absorb moisture and become, they become reddish. But when they enter into the soil, they produce large number of root branches for proper anchorage or proper mechanical support to the used tree. And these prop roots, the prop roots provide support like Pillars and the largest already I told you the prop roots usually present in banyan tree or the scientific name of banyan tree is ficus bengalensis. The largest banyan tree or it is also largest angiosperm and the largest banyan tree is located at Botanical Survey of India which is located at Seaport Kolkata. And this largest banyan tree has a circumference of 404 meters and it has 1775 prop roots and these prop roots gives mechanical support to the use use trunk and second advantageous modifications are steel roots and steel roots are also advantageous roots usually they develop usually they develop from basal nodes of basal nodes of stem stem possesses various nodes some nodes present in above <coughs> upper, <coughs> upper region and some nodes present below the region and these lower nodes the lower nodes produce some of the advantageous roots these advantageous roots grow obliquely downwards and touch the soil. When they touch the soil, they also produce large number of root branches for proper anchorage to the weak stems. Such stems are called, such modifications are called steel roots. And steel roots and prop roots, both these type of advantageous, advantageous roots are usually gives mechanical support to their stems. So these are the two important types of advantageous root modifications. These are the some of the advantageous roots with uh, special functions. Advantageous roots are advantageous roots with special functions. Uh, some important types you now we will discuss. The first one is epiphytic roots. Usually epiphytic roots are present in epiphytes. What are epiphytes? The plants which grow on the branches of big trees only for space are called epiphytes. So epiphytes are also called space parasites. Only they are growing on branches of big trees only for shelter, only for space, hence are called space parasites. When a space parasites grow on the branches of big trees, they lose the direct contact with soil. So when they lose the direct contact with soil, they didn't get they didn't get enough uh, water and minerals from the soil. So that's why these plants produce two different types of roots, cleansing roots and velament roots. Cleansing roots are they are very small and thin. Usually these roots help in the fixation of plant on the branches of big trees. The second type of roots are called velament roots. Velament roots are long, thick 
and freely and in the air. And these velamen roots absorb moisture from the atmosphere and supply the plant. And moisture is nothing but water and water also contains minerals. And these velamen roots are able to absorb moisture due to presence of due to presence of velamen tissue. And these type of roots, epiphytic roots are usually present in vanda. And vanda is a kind of it is a kind of orchid. So this is the one of the advantages fruit with special function. And one more is photosynthetic roots. Photosynthetic roots are also called assimilated roots. In plants like Trapa and Tinospora, stem and leaves are highly reduced. In such trapas, the common name of trapa is water chestnut. It is submerged hydrophytic plant. And in such conditions, when uh, stem and leaves are uh, they are highly reduced, roots become green leaf, uh, gray, green leaf like structure, and they also develop chlorophyll. So due to presence of chlorophyll, these roots are able to perform photosynthesis and make their food. Such roots are called photosynthetic roots and photosynthetic roots are also called assimilatory roots. Assimilatory roots are usually found in trap and tinospora. So these are the some of the advantageous roots with special functions.